So, independent review is key. Now, suppose you could do it. How should you go about doing it? Suppose you had an independent review commission doing it. What sort of rubric should they follow? Here's a couple of tests that I suggest. The first one is uh, what I call the first test of, non -funct of functionality, and that's focused on risk. And there's two parts. In fact, I think probably all important ideas can be summarized in a two by two matrix. So I tried to do that here. And the first question to ask is, is the regulation, is the rule that's being reviewed addressing a significant risk? Significant means a risk that's widespread, affects a large number of people, and has serious consequence. There are rules that maybe address uh, a serious risk for only a very small group of people or maybe even one person. That would probably not be significant. You have to set up some criteria. Or rules that address a non-existent risk for a large group of people or a very small risk for a large group of people, maybe that's not significant either. That's the first part of this test. The other part of this test is to look at whether that risk that the rule is trying to address is current. And this goes to the fact that risks change perpetually. What was a risk 50 years ago may not be a risk now. And so rules can become obsolete because they were designed to address what was a current risk, but the risk, risk is no longer current. So the second question is, is the risk, if there was a real risk that's being addressed, still current? If the answer to either of those is no, then you have a non-functional rule. Then you go on to the second test. This one, also broken down into a nice two-by-two two matrix, is the second test of non-functionality non-funct related to outcomes. Outcomes is key. Outcomes is incredibly important and often ignored in, in the regulatory process. By outcomes, I mean what most people think about as benefits. Regulations are perhaps designed to address some safety risk or some environmental hazard. The outcome, say there's a workplace safety rule. A workplace safety rule that, that, that increases the number of inspections and number of inspectors that go out to workplaces and, and look around for some sort of problem that, that the agency has identified. Those inspections, those inspectors are outputs of the rule, but they're not outcomes. The outcome is safety itself. And so what you want to know, and this is true for both prospective analysis of regulations as well as retrospective analysis of regulations, but what you want to know is whether the rule is actually getting to the outcome that you care about, whether that's some environmental outcome that leads to better human health or some safety outcome that leads to less accidents that affect humans. The outcome is what's important, not the output. So looking back at rules, you want to know whether rules have actually achieved some sort of outcome that we care about. There are plenty of rules, I imagine, in those 175,000 pages of rules that don't have any sort of effect on an outcome that we care about. So put those into the category of non-functional rules if they don't have any effect on an outcome. And then secondly, if they do have an effect on an outcome, another question relates again to obsolescence. Do you have to maintain that rule in order to maintain the outcome? For example, if you got rid of the rule that um, requires that there's high beams and low beams on cars, would that mean that we no longer have low beams on cars? Would manufacturers suddenly stop putting low beams on cars? That's a question that needs to be asked. And if the answer is we don't expect that to change, we expect that safety outcome not only to continue to exist but to maybe improve because we could have adaptive systems, then you put that in the category of non-functional rules. So focus on outcomes is the second part of this. There's some more details that I recommend in, uh, in the paper that's available, but these are the most important portions of it. Focus on risk and focus on outcomes. That is a suggested, suggested, my suggested way of looking back at regulations to determine which ones we put on a list to possibly get rid of or modify.